West Asia is on the edge and is bracing for an Iranian attack, tense over what form it will take. The next few hours are critical as the possibility of a wider war expanding in the region is increasing. Iran is reportedly preparing to launch an attack on Israel as what it called retaliation for the attack on its embassy in Syria on the 1st of April. And the offensive could occur in the southern or northern regions any time now or over the next few days. And it has the potential to trigger an all-out regional war. Senior U.S. officials have said that Iran, in all likelihood, will attack Israel before the weekend. According to reports in Israeli media, Iran can launch missiles and drones on Saturday. I would just say that uh, we're watching this very, very closely. Uh, we still deem the potential threat by Iran here to be real, to be viable, uh, certainly a, a, a credible, uh, and, and we're watching it as closely as we can. Iran has sent a message to the U.S. through the Arab countries, and I'm quoting them, if you intervene in a conflict between us and Israel, we will attack American bases in the region. The warning comes as U.S. President Joe Biden stated that he was expecting Tehran to attack Israel sooner than later. However, he has warned Iran against attacking, stressing that the U.S. will defend Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Biden, who has been receiving constant updates on the situation from his national security team, the 81-year-old commander-in-chief also issued a one-word warning to Iran when a reporter asked Biden about his message for Iran amid fears of possible strike. Biden asserted, don't. What is your, what is your message to Iran? What is your message to Iran right now? What is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. Despite the fears of regional tensions escalating, Israel's military has said that they have prepared plans to respond to a possible Iranian attack. According to the army's spokesperson, Israel is ready for a wide variety of scenarios that include both defensive and offensive actions. In the last 24 hours, we conducted reviews of plans for a wide variety of scenarios following reports and declarations of an Iranian attack. The commanders presented to the chief of staff the plans for defending and attacking and adjusting the operational response in all the areas. While municipalities in Israel have reportedly been told to prepare for an attack, they've been told to ensure that all public shelters are ready for use, civilians have also been asked to remain vigilant. Following a sharp rise in tensions, countries including India, France, Russia, Poland and the United Kingdom have warned their citizens against travelling to Israel and in some cases the wider region amid threats of an Iranian attack. The French Ministry for Europe and Foreign Affairs has also advised its citizens against travelling to Iran, Lebanon, Israel and the Palestinian territories. Along with France, India has advised its citizens not to travel to Iran or Israel till any further notice. Meanwhile, the US has asked its consulate staff in Israel to not travel outside the Greater Tel Aviv, Jerusalem and Beersheba area. Moreover, amidst the heightened tensions, some flights have also been cancelled in Tehran or to Tehran. The German airline Lufthansa has extended the suspension of its flights. And for more updates on this Latest development, our correspondent Susan Tehran has sent us this report from New York. U.S. President Joe Biden has expressed his expectations of an imminent attack on Israel by the Islamic Republic of Iran while being cautious to not reveal classified information. He emphasized the U.S. commitment in defending Israel despite disagreements with Tel Aviv over the Gaza conflict. The administration is currently engaged in intense diplomatic efforts to prevent a wider war while the U.S. military adjusts its Middle East deployments in preparation nonetheless. Iran's threat follows Israel's killing of top Iranian generals in Syria, prompting this delicate balance that we're seeing right now between supporting Israel and avoiding escalation on the part of the White House. Susan Tahrani reporting from New York for We On World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.